Hello, I'm Ruchit, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Portland, Oregon. Today, I'm going to show you how you can identify and resolve various issues that cause Amazon Elastic Cloud Compute Instance start failures that are accompanied by client internal error message. Let's get started. These are the three main reasons you might get a client internal error message. The Amazon EBS root volume isn't attached to the instance correctly. An EBS volume attached to the instance is in error state. An encrypted volume fails to attach during boot up due to permissions issue. Please note, if you don't see error messages on the console with the instance launch failure, you can run the describe instances command using AWS CLI or AWS Cloud Shell against the instance ID to get more information about the failure. Because Cloud Shell is present only in selected regions, specify the region if the instance is in a different region. Notice the state reason message in the output because this will give you more information about the launch failure. Now that we have covered retrieving information about the error, let's go over the different issue scenarios and resolve them. The EBS root volume isn't attached to the instance correctly. Navigate to EC2 console and select the instance that failed to start. Navigate to storage information of the instance and verify the device name for the root device. The root device name must always be slash dev slash sda1 or slash dev slash xvda and it must not conflict with any other attached volumes. If the root device name doesn't meet these requirements or conflicts with an existing attached device name or detach the volume with conflicting device names. Reattach any devices with updated device names. An EBS volume attached to the instance is in error state. An EC2 instance launch can fail with any of the volumes attached to it being in the error state. If any secondary data volume is in error state, you can detach the secondary volume and then start the instance. To recover the volume that's in the error state, you can create a new volume from a snapshot of the volume. It's a best practice to take snapshots of the volumes periodically so that you can restore your volume if a volume is in an error state. Be sure to create new volume in same availability zone as the affected EC2 instance. For a root volume in error state, you must detach the root volume, attach a newly created volume from a previous snapshot to the instance, and then start it. An encrypted volume fails to attach during instance start. If the root volume is encrypted, then verify the following items. The AWS key management service key used to encrypt the volume is enabled. The user trying to start the instance has access to the AWS KMS key. The key has the correct policies. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <laughs>